Uh, we have been beneficiaries of the hard wars of other people. It is now time for us to make our own mark. And for us to be able to make our own mark is when we stay empowered, we must get the information that is relevant so that we're able to advise government and even hold it accountable, but with through facts, not just what we read about in the papers, not what we hear from other people, but understanding that as government, this is what we have committed to the people of this country. And as the citizens, this is what we want to understand. How far have you gone with this? This policy that you have in place is not working, and we think this is an alternative. Remember, we're a government of people by the people. Now, if people don't give us an opportunity to say, we think this can work better than what you have, then they're missing out. They're not only depriving themselves of an opportunity to have a say in government, but they're betraying those that came before us and fought for this democracy. It is not about just voting. It, about, it is about you taking an action as a citizen to say, as a proud South African, this is the part I'm going to play. I would call upon all the young people to use the energy, to channel the energy that they have to a right cause. When I say to a right cause, it's for them to understand that the rights that they're enjoying, they come with responsibilities. No one has a super right than the other. And if we do that and we understand that everything that we have in this country belongs to us as the masses, not government. Everything that we have belongs to the masses. Now, if you are angry with the mayor or with the minister and you go and ban a building, what do you stand to benefit? It's going to take a long time for government to come back and replace whatever that you have destroyed. All we are saying, we understand that young people are energetic, and of course they can't wait because they have lots of energy, but they cannot just behave irresponsibly. They have a responsibility to understand that they are the leaders of tomorrow. And if they are the leaders of tomorrow, they have to show that responsibility today so that those that came before us or those that are old, they can relax home. They know that the future of this country is in safe hands.